Dear brothers and sisters, last night I had a dream that I went into a church with a friend and there were rows and rows of people ignoring me <laughs> and not listening to me with their backs turned towards me. I kept walking deeper into the church and then I saw tables decorated and set up for a banquet, a wedding banquet, and people gathered around the tables ready for a meal. But yet, most of the people were still ignoring me and not listening. Perhaps, except for that one lady you see there. <laughs> Finally, I walked deeper into the church, into an inner room, where attendants were protecting the bride, who was excitedly and hurriedly getting ready, anticipating the moment her bridegroom would arrive. The bride's name in my dream was April. April is a time for people to listen and pay attention to blossom and bloom with new life, to get ready and prepare for the bridegroom's arrival. April is a month full of holy days, beginning with Palm Sunday on April 10th, which honors Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. Jesus is greeted by people waving palm branches and shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. God save us, we pray. It's a good reminder to welcome Jesus into our hearts as the triumphant King who rules in victory over sin and death. Hosanna, the Messiah, the Savior, save us, Lord. Passover then, like Good Friday, point to the sacrificial lamb whose sacrifice saves us. Jesus is the lamb who was slain. But Jesus defeated death and is no longer on the cross or in the grave. He is alive forevermore. Because he paid the price for our sin, we can live eternally. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. That is the true meaning of Easter, Resurrection Day. Not only was Jesus' spirit alive, his body was resurrected. He appeared to many and even ate and drank with them. Because Jesus paved the way, we will be resurrected like Jesus if we die. Raptured in the clouds like he ascended in the clouds in our perfectly healed and glorified bodies to a kingdom that is above the spirit world for we will eat and drink with our father in heaven. No one comes to the father except through Jesus Christ. Daniel 12, 2-3 says multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth, in other words, who are buried in the ground, will awake, will come back to life, will be resurrected, some to everlasting life, but others to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Jesus is the bridegroom coming back soon. Will you be the bride who is ready, dressed in clean garments, your sins washed by Jesus, as you anticipate his arrival with enthusiasm and excitement, looking forward to that glorious day? Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you will be saved. You will be raised to everlasting life in the kingdom of God, the heavenly kingdom. Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen.